Gemini. Gemini in the ninth house. Okay, so you guys are here to become that curious, open-minded, social butterfly, okay? You are here to become those things. You are here to be that person who can literally, like, talk to anyone and be just, like, that lighthearted, friendly one. You are here to learn to ask questions and just totally withhold judgment. You're here to learn that, like, not knowing something is actually really exciting and can open the pathways for all kinds of exciting adventures. You're here to learn to seek out higher wisdom while withholding judgment, okay? I think of the phrase, like, all pathways lead to God, and it's true. All pathways lead to God. So try all of them. Like, literally, like, Gemini in the ninth house is like, I'm going to try a little of everything, you know? Like, I'm going to learn, like, I'm not going to deep dive. Do not, do, you are not here to, like, just commit to Buddhism or Judaism or whatever. Don't do that. That's not the way. Back away. That's not the way for you. That's not going to give you what you want. Okay? You're not here to be that priest or whatever. Okay? No, 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 no. You're here to dabble in a little bit of everything. Okay? This is like a little bit of, you know what? This week I'm going to go to, this week I'm going to go to this church. Next week I'm going to go to this church. Next week I'm going to go to this church. Okay? Or... I'm going to go to this temple, then the next week I'm going to go to this lecture on spirituality, the next week I'm going to teach myself, the next week I'm just going to ask my friend, what do you believe? Okay, like, what do you believe? That's a good question if you have Gemini in the ninth house. Hey, what do you believe? What's your truth? What's your truth? What do you believe? You'll have a lot of interesting conversations that way. Now... Pursuing a higher education is important with this placement, okay, but also staying really, really open-minded in that, which can be maybe a scary thing, but, like, this is the placement where I say it's like, okay, move to a country where higher education is low cost or free, step one. Okay, so we're not talking about the U.S. here, and if you've got your North Node in the ninth house, you've got, you're going to be going abroad anyway. So find a place that you can live where college is mostly free or low cost. Enroll in just general studies or like enroll in communications or enroll and just like have no course of study and just stay a really long time and learn a little bit about everything. This is like totally the path of learn a little bit about everything and be a master of nothing. And I know that you probably don't want to hear that, but it's so true. Like, you're here in pursuit of, you know, wisdom, okay? But, like, you're here to really learn the truth that all pathways really do lead to God. You can find God well. You can find God in any country. You can find God well bungee jumping. You can find God, you know, well attending the Academy Award. Like, literally, like, you can find God in anything. God is in everything, so you're here to, like, seek out wisdom everywhere from every type of guru and to literally, like, just, like, drop in on lectures. Like, let's say that there's a university near you and they ha have, like, free info nights or, like, free lectures or just, like, low cost. Like, go to all of them. Learn about everything because everything's going to bring you a little bit of truth. There's truth in everything. This is not the path of feeling like you know what's right and you know what's true and you've got a special relationship with the truth. You don't. Not any more than anybody else. Everybody has a perspective that contains a little bit of truth. And I know that can be, like, really confronting, but it's, it's kind of true. Like, this reality isn't what it seems, you know? So even that person that's, like, the homeless person on the street corner and they're, they're kind of, like, talking to themselves and if you open your mind 
you might realize that they actually have a message, a wisdom to share, that they actually do know something. So you're getting growth through understanding and becoming open to all different mindsets. For you, travel is important in this lifetime. And it's a good idea if you can travel with childhood friends or with a sibling rather than like on your own. So getting out of your neighborhood where you were raised and going to some distant land do that, but take your brother or sister or cousin or best friend from elementary school with you. Um, you're learning to publish. This is the house of publishing, you know, so publish your work um, in a way that's Gemini in orientation. So you're learning to like excitedly share about what you're discovering without claiming that like what you learned is the only truth, but just like doing it in a way that opens minds. Okay, and so this is not about whatever, creating the videos, you know, of the sacred mystical traditions. Don't do that. That's not going to be good. <laughs> this is more about like, I have a, a blog or vlog or Instagram and I share, you know, like a little curiosities that I've found in the countries all over the world, like just a little bit to open each person's mind and get them thinking. Because there is value in that. There's a lot of value in that. You're learning to spend time thinking and asking questions and having conversations about ninth house matters. If you have any fear related to other people's viewpoints, you're going to have to overcome that fear. Because we're going to have to start talking. You're going to have to start talking with people who are different than yourself, who are from faraway lands, you got to go abroad and like travel all over and interview people and ask them their opinions and you're going to grow so much through doing that. Okay? And if you can't do that because maybe money is an issue or something like that, find those people and those gurus and stuff that are connected to your local university or stuff and learn. You need to learn about other countries and cultures that are different than your own. You must. This is really critical for your development. So let's say there's a university nearby and let's say they host a Diwali night or a big celebration for the Chinese um, New Year or like stuff like that. If you can't actually go to China or India or wherever, then go to those things to expand yourself. But you're here to expand your mind. And it's going to be an amazing journey. So thank you for um, engaging with me today and listening to today's message. I love Gemini energy. I love the North Node in Gemini. Get curious, my friends. It's going to be a very exciting adventure indeed. Let your mind be a place of great optimism and positivity. No more judgment. No more superiority. Okay? We don't, we're not about that anymore. Now we're about curiosity, cultivating positive conversation, cultivating positive thoughts. Great things will come of that. Many blessings to all of you. Have a great day. 